when you approach a patient complaining of headache, either acute, episodic, or chronic headache, it is crucial to ask the patient in details for any symptoms suggestive of pituitary disease. The symptoms of pituitary adenoma depends on the size of the tumor and its function. Micro, micro adenoma will not cause usually localized symptoms, while macro adenoma can cause headache, visual disturbance, and compression on the other pituitary tissues or pituitary stock, resulting in hypopituitarism. Growth hormone secreting the tumor that can cause, that cause acromegaly, the patient can be presented with symptoms like a change in the facial features, a change in the size of hands or feet, or sometimes the patient can be presented with complication of acromegaly, like hypertension, diabetes mellitus, obstructive sleep apnea, uh, cardiomyopathy. Prolactinoma can cause oligomenorrhea or amenorrhea in female patients, while it causes uh, erectile dysfunction and also impotence in male patients. ACTH secreting tumor uh, that cause Cushing disease can manifest with central obesity, skin hyperpigmentation, proximal muscle, proximal muscle weakness. Sometimes the patient of Cushing disease can be presented with, a co with complication like also refractory hypertension, diabetes mellitus, also obstructive sleep apnea. TSH and LH secreting tumor are rare. Sometimes pituitary adenoma can be non-functioning, will not secrete any hormones, but the patient can be presented with localized symptoms like headache, visual disturbance, or if this tumor enlarge it, can cause also compression on the pituitary stock, resulting in hypopituitarism. So, symptoms of hypopituitarism can be extreme fatigability, can be symptoms of hypothyroidism, symptoms of hypoadrenalism, like hypoglycemia, symptoms of hypogonadism, or sometimes in female patients can be presented with difficulty of breastfeed after delivery. So, how can these symptoms of pituitary adenoma uh, play a, a, an important role uh, in patient of headache? For patient who, who presented with acute severe headache and the history showed manifestations or showed symptoms of pituitary adenoma, either acromegaly, pushing disease, or pro prolactinoma, you have to suspect pituitary apoplexy, that it's an emergency condition and need prompt intervention and management. Also, any patient of acute severe headache and the clinical examination showing that the patient has bitemporal hemianopia, also you have to consider pituitary apoplexy and also you have to uh, uh, send the patient immediately to the neurosurgeon. Uh, now for patient of episodic headache or a chronic headache, when the history showed that this patient has symptoms of acromegaly, so the underlying cause of headache can be the tumor itself, can be high blood pressure, can be uh, obstructive sleep apnea. The same thing in the patient of Cushing disease. You have to consider multiple endocrine neoplasia type 1 in all patients of pituitary adenoma. So you have to ask the patient for any symptoms suggestive of suggestive of hyperparathyroidism like polyuria, polydepsia, uh, renal calculi, uh, or the symptoms suggestive of pancreatic uh, tumors like uh, gastrinoma that can cause uh, zollinger ellison syndrome. Uh, the symptoms can be refractory uh, peptic ulcer disease and secretory diarrhea, or other between the, uh, other pancreatic tumor like insinoma. Family history is very important for any patient has pituitary adenoma, as main one can be a familial disease. So the other family members could have also pituitary adenoma, could have pancreatic tumors. Thank you very much.